Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. <sighs> Welcome to Aries season, huh? Oh, even though we are in Aries season, Neptune's energy is still lingering. Past couple of days especially, I think I had more nightmares the past two days than I did all of Pisces season. It's like that last little kick. You ever have that where like, it's this really weird energy of, it's almost like a desperate attempt, pulling out all the stops. It's like this energy of paranoia, this energy of anxiousness out of the blue, the, the dreadful kind of an energy. But it has a feeling to it of like a desperation. You know, like how if you were to tell somebody I'm leaving and they go and like put up such a fuss, all of a sudden they're not feeling well. All of a sudden now, oh my God. And it's like a, it's like a last ditch attempt to get you to either stay in something that's already expired, entertain something that's not good for you, or to trick you into not to trick you into like some kind of a karmic thing it really is about learning your karmic lesson what did you fucking learn you know the only reason that the attack would be this tremendous or the test would be this big is because what's waiting the prize must be astronomical otherwise why would neptune be so in the shit look at that release your ex bottom of the deck it, and for some, you or your person is the one dealing with this energy of constantly being tempted back into old shit, right? It's about a lot of the sirens have done their job. They have tempted and persuaded a lot of masculines to bite. It's, it's, it's a distraction to keep them from this higher vibration and calling. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You must release to create space. Yes? You must, you must release to create space. They keep saying it. Is there enough room in your heart? Is there old shit unrequited love? There's not enough att attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So for some people, yourself or your, your person of interest, you're going through something that it the, the fire and the spark has died out because it was temporary or because it was a test. Some of you called this in, or they did, right? Calling in your soulmate. But they called it in and it was like the universe said, well, what'd you learn? You may have either bitten, they may have bitten, or you passed. Whatever this is, it's now coming to the assumption of, I don't think this is for me. And it's like the universe going, no. No. Actually, let's go ahead and use the mermaid tarot deck. It's what we tried to fucking tell you. You know what? I'm actually starting to think that this might not be the best choice. No. Page of Wands. See that? She's sort of looking into this crystal ball. Right? It's like seeing the light. That's where the spark is. The spark is there. It's almost as if for some you've lost the spark. It got hidden. Or it was a test trying to trick you into thinking one thing was it, but it wasn't. It was this. Hear that, that noise outside too? It's like a big ass delivery truck, like a delivery is coming. Huge, it's loud, it's unavoidable. Everyone stops and stares, it's so distracting. Now, 10 of swords, look at that, fucking absolutely brutal. Whatever the ending this was, it was absolutely fucking brutal. You know what it is, too, if you look at the picture, you see how there's his spirit above his body, death of the ego. Someone here may feel absolutely discouraged, so it's almost as if, like, they feel like they can't take it anymore. 
Someone here was betrayed beyond belief, but it feels as if betraying oneself. This is how a spiritual awakening takes place. The absolute end comes and you feel as if you can't take any more. Someone here is, their knees are hitting the ground in that sense of they can't take any more. The magician feels malefic. There could have been a feminine energy that's been lurking in the vicinity that has had, they've been selfish to a wands. Someone here is hearing the call. Something is erupting. Knight of Swords. Truth is coming in. Truth is roaring in, rolling in. See how something's erupting catches this one's attention. There's a weird energy here, and I know you guys fucking feel it. Look at that, five of wands, kind of argumentative, competitive, stank kind of an energy. Aries is you know, Mars, is God of War. The hermit, Virgo energy, but this is also finding, looking, someone's looking for something. Seven of Cups, they've been super fucking confused about it. They're confused at, as, at what they're looking for. Oh, the Fool. Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. See how the Fool came out in reverse? Someone took a leap of faith into the wrong thing. They took a leap of faith into a fire pit. Now they're working really hard to build themselves back up, working really hard to heal, working really hard to accept that they, 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 that they fucked up. How do we learn by making mistakes? Where do we fuck up? By constantly making the same mistake over and over and pretending you don't know any better. That's the difference. It's not about saying we can never make mistakes. It's about saying once we make a mistake, we learn from it. We don't make the same mistakes again. Paradise, happiness, expansion, and joy, and the camera, which is reminiscing. Learning from the past. I literally just said that. It's, that's the difference, right? It's about, you know, when saying you cannot make mistakes, what we're saying is that you can't keep making the same mistakes and playing it off, pretending like you don't know any better. That's bullshit. That's the fucking issue here, right? You also have passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. That's what, remember earlier there was unrequited. It's like your soul has to be involved in things that feed this inferno. It has to be mutual attraction, mutual magic, mutual fire. And, and if what you're doing and entertaining is something that is not of that quality or doesn't have that potential, it's not going to fucking work out no matter how hard you try and force it or fake it. This is like the facade has, is all crumbling away. All the fakeness, all of like the forcing. If there was any forcing, and especially during Pisces season, honey, Pisces energy can be that of, you know, Pisces rules karma. So it's karmic lessons that are being presented to you to see what you'd learn, right? If you're going to bite. It also is this really weird energy as well of like, um, Getting you ready. It's ready. It's war ready. It's parabellum, right? It's like getting war ready. A year from now. Something within 365 days, four seasons. Something has to take that long. A year from now. Reconsider. So, I mean, it could something about a hundred days. Reconsider an option. Somebody changes their mind. 
but it takes a period of time, could be a period of time of no communication. There's some kind of period of time. Now, for some of you, it could be a whole fucking year, but for some, it doesn't have to be that long. It could be somebody goes through all four seasons within themselves, which could happen in a matter of a week or a month. You have helpful people here. You know, it's people around that want to help. This could be angel guides and spirits. This could also be physical people. Someone here lost somebody that was essential in part of their journey. And obviously it was due to this like toxic energy that was masquerading itself as like love. And then you have no. It was a brutal lesson that some had to learn that are still learning, that will learn, that may ne never learn. It was a lesson of being able to decipher between what is real and what is facade and illusion. Being able to decipher between what you've already learned. And what you did not. The lovers. See how it's really dark? Gives me the, in fact, I saw the word twilight. So that could be the time of day that this occurs is twilight. There's something here about the full moon and this big ass raven. You also have these two people here. They're not touching. Look at that. They're so close, but never touch. Their hands are just like this. They both feel like they're cemented in time, both cemented in emotions, right? Their feet are in water, what appears to be water emotions these two people feel so close but so far it's that feeling of almost 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 the queen of wands Queen of Wands has one eye closed like this. She's holding a candle. She looks like she's only seeing something halfway partially. Not seeing things completely. This is a, that energy of somebody on the outside. See, it's like these two people are meant to be, right? Or, or destined. And there's like this weird outside energy. This person could have a dog. And this person right here is, is walking what looks to be a poodle or a black dog. They could have a pet. This, but one eye is like closed like this. This person could be, someone could be pretending they're not looking. They're not paying attention. They don't care. But they really do give a fuck. And the hermit, this dude's examining some things. He's on the beach. But what's weird is that he has his little magnifying glass in one hand, but he's not using it. So this person here is not using the tools that are in front of them. They have the tools in front of them. They're not using it. Felt like that was connected to the helpful people energy as well. What makes a great king, queen, leader, god, goddess, emperor, empress? It's their judgment. You know, it's their sense of instinct and intuition and, and, and of, of being able to make those choices, the, the tough decisions. They make the best decision for all involved, not just for themselves. They also do not get duped into... They don't get Trojan horsed. You have courtship, of course. We've been feeling it non-fucking stop. Who will be the one who wins her heart? It will be the bravest one of all. It will be the one that does the work themselves. It will be the one that also is not afraid of competition. It will be someone here who is brave enough to actually put action behind their words action behind their words they don't only talk they put effort 
This is super important. This is going to separate the men from the boys, if you will, right? The kings from the little peasants is going to be their actions. Do they just speak out their ass or do they, do they actually do it? Someone here loves somebody a lot, but they're loving them from a distance. There's something about love from a distance, love from afar. I don't know if it's because it's literally physical. You guys are really far apart physically. Or if this is like the lovers, how they were so close but so far. Love from a distance, love from afar. Oh, the grave. See, something is over. Something is dead. It's done. And it feels like a romantic relationship. They have that saying, right, that during Pisces season, don't go getting all involved in some shit and falling in love and getting married only to have to go get annulled in airy season. Airy season is like the morning after you've been drinking all night. The clouds, see, you don't know what happened. You're confused. It's a fucking problem now. It's a dilemma. It's a conundrum. What did I do? What did I get myself into? The ring. Some of them may have gotten themselves into a situation where they promised something. They got into an agreement. They got into a committed relationship. But it was over. But they couldn't see it then. Or if they did see it, they overrode. They over. It was like their intuition was overridden or something. Or they could have been duped. You wouldn't want someone to be in charge that could easily be duped. This is why the universe is going to test the fuck out of people like this. Because we can't have kings, if you will. You know, these we're supposed to be leading the new earth, right? These This new group of spiritual people. And you just can't be having anybody, honey. Because if you have someone in charge who's duped for everything, and every time their dick throbs, they make a choice based on that, who the fuck wants that kind of a leader? So those are the ones that are being ruled out. Serapis Bay, Ascension, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. See, they're going through a process of Ascension. You saw that in that Ten of Swords card where the dude was on the ground bleeding and it was like death of the ego, but it was their spiritual awakening, okay? They got to rise the fuck up. And then, of course, Archangel Michael, my right-hand man. <sighs> my boyfriend, my husband in heaven. Trusting heaven, you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. The attack is so great because there must be something so huge waiting, right? The reward, Mary Magdalene. Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Mary Magdalene energy has been coming back in really strong, hot and heavy recently. For several years, Mary Magdalene's energy has been hot and heavy. At my apartment on, on the beach where I used to be when I first hit YouTube, some of you will remember if you followed me that long, that she gave me seven roses back then and I had no fucking clue why. And then I figured out why later and it was like mind blowing. Like, wow, she fucking is crazy. She's incredible. All right couple more cards this is when pigs fly a deck that was made specially for me it was a gift from hillary and viv the fool again and the nine of wands see the nine of wands is fear right it's a wounded warrior someone here who is maybe jaded and scared and afraid right but you there are times when you should back away from things right where, where our spidey senses say no but then sometimes when you should fall and and should jump in Take that leap of faith. It's about knowing to knowing and being able to discern amongst the two. While wow, the bottom of the deck's the wheel of fortune. Look at how gorgeous it is. The wheel of fortune. Kind of looks like an old school like alarm clock, doesn't it? That's what it looks like. There is a key hanging right here, if you can see that. It's time. It says, Ode Curiosity Shop. That's what this says. It looks like an apothecary inside of it. You have these pigs with wings, but you also have these gorgeous butterflies here. The Fool, jumping into something, that leap of faith, and then the Nine of Wands, of course. 
This Nine of Wands is not hiding behind your fear, your It really is a test of being able to decipher amongst what's real and what's not. And being able to see through the facade and just keep repeating it over and over and over because it's exactly what it is. Being able to see through the facade. Every season is coming in, packing a punch. But it also is that last minute, that last ditch effort of trying to trick us still, trying to get us to hold on to the O, trying to get us to to cash in and sell out and 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 give up and hold on to what is no longer the facade of things as opposed to the reality. It's literally this last, last ditch effort of us trying to get in our own heads, right? Because it's the only way they can get us is by us getting us. So it's this like last ditch effort of having you feel like you are ready to give up, you can't make, do it anymore. Or this feeling of like anxiety and paranoia and sadness and anger and depression. And we are going to push through that because one thing that we know for sure is that this too shall pass. And what you are feeling right now, this is temporary. And it also is a huge illusion for some of you. It's the it's those fears, the, those demons in the back of your head telling you that you can't or it won't happen or whatever the case is. And that's a lie. You can have what you want, but you have to be strong. You have to fight for it, you know? You have to pull yourself up from the ashes. You have to rise up like the phoenix. And for a lot of you, this has nothing to even do with you, but your divine counterpart. This was their reading. May the best man win. Well, for some of you, woman, but masculines. It's the, it's, it's, a, it's the test of the fight of the fittest, right? The test of the fittest. What do they call it? Test of the fittest, right? Why do I feel like that doesn't make sense? Survival. It's survival of the fittest. That's what they say. Oh, it's, it's, who, can, it's who can survive. Who's going to pass the test? They lose the test. They fail it. They, they, they bite on some old karmic shit. Takes them out of the running, if you will, right? Into this new earth where we are sort of combining with other people, like-minded individuals like us, that we are all on the same mission, but we've all been put through the same test. We've all had to have extreme willpower of, 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 of fasting in, in more ways than just food, you know, celibacy, um, fasting from people, being okay, being alone, those that couldn't hack it, right? They're finding that they are muggling out, right? Which is just a term for people that are choosing the easy way out and not choosing a more higher calling. And with the higher calling comes more sacrifice but with that comes the payday of magic and miracles and serendipity and abundance and extraordinary and it's just kind of like if that's your calling your free will to choose do i want to put in the work to be able to be a part of this higher calling right to help lead this new earth light workers you know keepers of the light brotherhood sisterhood of the rose all of these things kind of swirl in the air right but it doesn't matter whatever this is that you resonate with or do you want to choose the easy way out and muggle? Which is not go through all these really hard tests, not go through all of this abstinence of, of things, being put through the major tests. It's like we're being put through like the, the Olympic of tests versus just like getting a small payout, kind of like selling out almost in a sense, you know? And it's just about what's right for you. <sighs> Anyways. I was, this is the reading. Okay, you guys, we will see you very soon. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Um, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, as well as on TikTok. It's the same handle. And remember, I would never, ever reach out to you ever. I would never solicit you for a reading or session. Those are scammers and fraudulent accounts. Please report them and unfollow them if you follow those other accounts. I only have one on each platform, one on Instagram, one on TikTok. I do not have multiples, nor do I have any backups or anything, okay? 
anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this also in that description box below it'll take you to my website right but also is my patreon link and there i do erotic tarot readings um and they're not rentals like the ones you rent from my website it's a whole nother beast on patreon okay but you need the link below in order to get there all right so i will see you guys again soon hang on you guys hold on okay we're almost there the the new season has started even though it feels really brutal but it's a lot of tests and a lot of what you may feel may not be for yourself personally it could be for others okay so here we go see you guys later love you bye